Hello everyone, Peanut and I welcome you. He wants to get rest real fast, so his cameo appearance will be very brief. He welcomes, we both welcome you to Mary's Little House of Centerville. I'm so glad to have you. It's beautiful outside. It's just lovely. It's, uh, it's, the sun is coming through the trees and dappling, like a dapple, uh, uh, just with little patches of light everywhere and warm light, uh, yellowish or golden light uh, all around. This is about uh, uh, 5:30 p.m. in the in the in the evening, uh, and and the uh, most of the walnut trees are, are almost um, deleaved, uh, 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 bare. And this is one of the the the, the limbs that they usually don't fall this way. But this is the way they are, and those were the these these were the um, the leaves that made the beautiful shower of golden of, of golden uh, flecks uh, in the in the sun yesterday or the day before when I had my last sheath too. This the, the, this side is laid on this side here, so but these are the way the leaves are. They're all the so the walnut well, tree is the first one to to lose its leaves in the fall. And it, and it comes down just oh so beautifully as a shower of gold. It would, it's just very ethereal, very beautiful. These were the walnuts. Look how dark they got. They, they, they were like this. They, uh, they and and now they're real dark. And I, I find them in the grass. They're all very gooey and soft. And 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 uh, and, and the squirrels are looking for them and everything. These are the walnut uh, walnuts. Uh, they still got their uh, covers on them. Uh, today we're talking about a uh, Padre Pio. This is a statue we got from uh, San Giovanni Rotondo in Italy. That's where his monastery was. That's where his tomb is. We visited uh, him uh, about two or three times uh, in our in our in our pilgrimages that we led uh, to 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 uh, into Europe and to the holy shrines in Europe. Padre Pio is very close to us. He's a dear friend. You'll hear a lot more about him. But I want to do today, just to simply, so one of my dear friends, uh, Sisters in Christ, sent me a beautiful prayer that he had written. I, I didn't know about it. Uh, she found it in the Word Among Us. By the way, I highly recommend the Word Among Us. Those who want to get up early in the middle of the night or at 3 o'clock a.m., uh, that would be a good start to, to, um, uh, to start your meditation to be with the Lord. Uh, but uh, 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 the main thing is be with the Lord. Uh, the reading, all this reading is very important. Uh, St. Teresa of uh, Jesus of Avila, St. Teresa of Avila says, you should have a book on your lap or someplace, a spiritual reading book, in case you need to be re-inspired or reignited your faith. But, uh, but not to read all during the, the uh, prayer, but when the Holy Spirit were working, uh, and it starts to hit something, it gets, gets struck by something, go with it. The Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit working. And let the book sit on your lap and, 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 and uh, have a, a, a colloquy, a conversation with God. But anyway, this is such, such a beautiful, uh, uh, I like to, uh, this, uh, this, th th this, this beautiful prayer. It's called, Stay, Stay With Me, Lord, Stay With Me, Lord. Uh, and it's just very simple. Uh, so I, I, I'll come. I'll read it, but I'll comment on some of the things. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, Padre Pio. Padre Pio, as you know, was a is a saint. He just got. We we were there at his canonization and his beatification. He's very dear to us and our ministry to to our foundress to to Cynthia. Um, uh, Louise Marie Rollahan, our foundress, our beloved foundress. Uh, uh, so we'll uh, we'll we'll talk. So we we carried this. This is very heavy statue. I care. We carried on the airplane and everything back. We love this statue. It greets the people when they come in to the front door of Mary's little house. He's standing right there, greeting the people, or blessing them. Many blessings we hope come from this house because of all these holy relics and these saints, all the marvels that have happened within the within in the walls of this wonderful house of. Mary's little house here in Centerville. So let me read uh, the, uh, the the thing. Let me get my frame right here. Okay, okay. Let me read uh, uh, this beautiful uh, prayer 
uh, quoted from a word among us, uh, sent to me by a dear sister in Christ. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. So what all through this you'll see, it's, it's the, those, remember disciples at Emmaus on Easter Sunday, those two that were so downhearted because Jesus was crucified, and they heard a little bit about the resurrection, but they didn't uh, give any, any uh, credence, any, any uh, belief in that. And this stranger came up and asked, what are you talking about? And, uh, and everything, just out of the blue, the stranger comes out and, and, uh, and starts to talk. They, Haven't you heard about the, uh, Jesus, uh, that he was crucified? And we thought he was the great prophet. We thought he was the Messiah. And we, now he's, he's, they crucified him, a terrible death, on last Friday. And this was Easter Sunday, of course. And Jesus started to talk to him that, that how the, the Messiah must suffer, uh, suffer and, uh, 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 and, and, and be a suffering servant. And the apost- they were listening. And, and as they were going by, it was still getting evening, and uh, 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 Jesus, uh, uh, Jesus started to walk away, walk by. And, and the two invited him, stay with us, the Lord, stay with us. And they, they went in the, the, the inn, and, and, and they recognized Jesus in the breaking of the bread. So our prayer is asking Jesus to stay with us. Uh, our present bishop uh, at Belleville, his, um, his motto is, Stay with us, Lord. Stay with us a while. Uh, it's a beautiful invitation to Jesus to, to stay with us. Uh, share your uh, words. Share your Holy Spirit. Share your graces. Share your friendship. Share your love. Stay with us, Lord. And they recognize him in the breaking of the bread, which is the Eucharist. Which that's, we, we know he's there in the Eucharist, body and blood, soul and divinity. Okay, um, and so, so stay with us. The, the, the first petition, stay with us so we won't forget about you. You've got to stay with us because if, we're, if we forget about you, we're on our own and we fall flat on our face without you. Without, Jesus said another place in John's Gospel, without me you can do nothing. So stay with us, Lord. We want to do something. We want to do, give you God glory. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. He's, a, he's like a, a real dear friend holding us up, watching out for us. He loves us more than any friend, as good as they are, can, a human friend can be. He's human too, but he's God too. He's risen from the dead. He's got all the strength we need. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am without fervor. It, it, you're my life. You give me life, and, and without you, I, I, I'm a flat. I'm without fervor. I, 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 I fizzle out, but with you, I, I, I'm in burning. I'm by fervor. I, I, I'm in there with you. Stay with me, Lord, for, for, for you are my light, and without you, I am in darkness. He's the light. He says, I'm the, uh, he's a, uh, the, the light of the world, the light that can't be put out. The big, big Paschal candle in the dark church lights up the church, and, and, and we get the, our little candles, and the whole church lights up from Jesus. And the light, the darkness can never be put, can never put out. You're, you're my light. Without you, I'm in darkness. Oh, stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I may hear your voice and follow you. That's it. Our, our life is a living dialogue, uh, uh, and listening to God's will, and 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 and, uh, and hearing His voice call us to 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 fulfill the Father's will, to fulfill our mission in life. We all have a mission within the church and in the world. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Living in the presence of the Lord, it makes life interesting. We got somebody who will never abandon us, who we can rely on, no matter how fall, bad we fall, how weak we are. He loves us unconditionally. He doesn't. He doesn't run away from us when we're in trouble, when we need him the most. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as a poor, as a poor, as poor as my soul is, I want to be a place of consolation for you a nest of love. I want my heart, and I always tell my Cindy, my, uh, she's in heaven now, my Cindy, uh, uh, she, she always took care of the Mary's little house, but I want my heart to be 
uh, uh, it was made it nice and clean and, and decorated it for the seasons of, of the year, of the holy seasons of Christmas and Easter, and 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 and, and, and made uh, foods and everything. I would her to take care of my house, my soul, my heart, so Jesus could find a place of consolation. Uh, she's still doing housework. Oh dear, I'm going to get in trouble with all the women, but. Um, you women have a knack for that. I sure don't. Uh, stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close. And life passes. Death, judgment, eternity approaches. Yes, every, every breath we take uh, is a closer to our death. Not to be sinister about it, but that's our destination. I mean, death leads us into eternal life. And on all these other things, very serious. A death, well, yeah, that's very serious because we're making the, the transition of our lives. A judge into, from, from this life to the eternal life, to heaven, a, uh, a judgment, I mean, we'll be accountable for everything, but who ca we don't care about accountability. If we're in love with God and doing God's will, we'll, we'll be happy to go before the judgment day. If he, we know how merciful and unjust he is and understands our littleness and weakness. Eternity approaches. Well, that's heaven. With, so we're all looking forward to heaven. I told some people today, I'll, I'll see in heaven if not before. We're all heading that direction. They were perfect strangers. I, their eyes became little saucers. Uh, see in heaven and not before. It is necessary to renew my strength. Stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with me, Lord, so that I may not stop stop along the way. And for that, I need you. So, so we 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 got to keep going. We can't stop and be distracted by other things. We got to keep our eyes on the Lord. Keep our eyes uh, on the ball, like it, like if you're out there in the right field and the baseball diamond. Every pitch, you you got to go with that every pitch because it might that pitch might be the last uh, that, that might be hit to your field. Even though you don't get that many out there, every pitch you're, that's going to be your your ball to catch. Okay, and Jesus is, is the one that, that, that keeps us our, our eyes on the ball, keeps our eyes on the Father, keeps our eyes on what counts, and not be distracted by the world's uh, 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 razzmatazz and everything. Uh, oh, oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers. I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force, which, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Lord Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation, because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. God bless you all.